Hey everyone, I'm ABC 13 meteorologist Alan Shoemaker and here's your one minute weather for this Wednesday, which uh, has some nice weather. If you like sunshine, this is probably your day to get out, but there is some smoke in the air this morning. Depending on when you're watching this video, the smoke may have already dissipated, but let me back this up a little bit for you. And there's been some smoke coming from fires in Louisiana, that whitish area around Harris County indicates where the smoke is forecast to be and kind of dissipate by around midday. It might be a little bit more smoke to our south coming up. So uh, air quality has been reduced a bit, may not go for that morning run just because the air quality has dropped into the unhealthy category for a little while. But overall, this afternoon is looking pretty bright and sunny and there will be some sunshine this morning as well, but still with that smoke in the air. A strong cold front arrives Friday morning early, probably before, before sunrise, and that brings chilly weather back Friday and for the weekend. So today, though, like I said, probably the day if you like sunshine, a cool morning, low humidity, a fairly nice afternoon, probably the day to be outside. Temperatures in the 70s later today, but starting in the 40s and 50s this morning because the clouds start to come back tomorrow and then eventually that cold front gets us. So here is future track starting at 11 a.m. We'll be climbing our way through the 60s and into the low 70s this afternoon. Might see a few high clouds later today, but mainly just again, mostly sunny skies. Tonight won't be as cool as the humidity increases. Lows will be mainly in the 60s. Thursday, we start to cloud up. There could be a couple showers, maybe a wheat storm during the day here and there in spots but I think most of the time it's probably just mostly cloudy. And then Thursday night, though, here comes a cold front, and that's the best chance for rain. There could be a brief round of heavy rain and some storms, even a small threat for severe weather we'll talk about in a second. But as that front passes the area uh, during the overnight hours between about midnight and 5 a.m., Temperatures will start going down. The winds will pick up from the north. And then Friday, you could wake up to some rain in some spots in the early in the morning. But I think most of Friday will kind of dry out. Look at those temperatures, though. 40s for a while Friday morning and then kind of rebounding into the 50s by afternoon. And the north winds may be around 15, 20, 25, 30 miles per hour. Yeah, it's a, be a little bit of a breeze going for Friday. And then temperatures keep on cooling into the 40s Friday night. That's severe weather risk. This is for mainly Thursday night for us, but it could start up to the north as well. Dallas with the bigger rest, risk of severe weather, kind of northeast Texas and, and uh, southeast Oklahoma for the day on Thursday. And again, for us, the risk is well, we're officially in a slight category. If you look at the categories up on the top of the screen, second from the bottom, but parts of the coastal counties in the lesser category of marginal. But there could be a, at least a, a risk of mainly some strong winds, maybe some hail as those storms come through in a round of heavy rain late Thursday night. So in your 10 day forecast, temperatures hit a high near 72 today. Sunshine and then 79 tomorrow, which sounds warm, but it will be a little breezy. Clouds come and there might be a few showers during the day, but the best chance 80% chance for rain and storms will be Thursday night into Friday morning by about sunrise. After that, we start to dry out on Friday, but temperatures in the 50s Friday afternoon and kind of windy. And then look at the weekend, Saturday, Sunday, Monday, spring begins Monday. Highs only in the 50s, lows in the 40s. There could be a couple of light showers over the weekend, but most of the rain should stay away from us. May it kind of increase a bit on Monday. Then we finally warm up again next week. So there you go. Spring break, if you haven't taken advantage of it, you have really today, kind of tomorrow, if you don't like the sunshine before the colder weather returns. And we'll keep tracking it for you, of course, later today here in your forecast on ABC 13.